Okay guys, welcome to a new Daisy adventure and today we are playing on one of my favorite maps that I haven't played in over a year and it's called Valning. It's a small little map with a bunch of islands and a lot of cool points of interest. Anyway, I'm playing today with my friend Eminix. He's already on the island. I'm not sure exactly where, but I'm going to go try to meet up with him. And I think he does have some starter gear already because he fought a few people. So we're going to just go team up and try to get established. Hopefully we can get a starter base up today. That's my goal for right now, but that's really my only goal. Somebody's talking over here. No. <laughs> He's a murderer. You don't want this, Scooter. You don't want this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, he's stun locking my yeah, you don't ass. Wanna, huh, huh? My kill. My kill. I think we knocked each other out. He had a can in his hand, so he he has like more damage, I think. All right, I think we got a better spawn anyway. Let's see where we are. Uh, we are in the northeast of the map. I'm guessing this north is like the spawn area, and you probably have to just cross these bridges to head south. While I'm on the way to meet up with my teammate, let me just take a quick minute to tell you about the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. If you like action-packed games, then Raid is perfect for you because it's full of non-stop fighting and huge battles. You can head into dungeons and face off against deadly bosses, conquer an awesome and challenging campaign, fight your way through floors of the Doom Tower, or even take on other players in high-stakes PvP. Personally, I like progressing through the dungeons and experimenting with different team compositions to create the perfect strategy to beat the bosses. Right now, Raid is running a special Champions Elect event where you can vote on your favorite starter champion. To take part in this, download Raid from the links below and head to the website on screen and vote for your favorite champion. The vote will run until February 10th and all eligible voters can win awesome in-game and real-life prizes including Amazon gift cards worth up to a thousand dollars. Only new players from the US can win a prize. Raid also released a legendary champion based off the MMA and pro wrestling legend Ronda Rousey which you can get for free right now by logging in and playing for seven days between now and February 20th. This is available for both new and longtime players so check out the promo code in the description for a boost. If you haven't tried out Raid yet, then what are you waiting for? Click the link in my description or scan my QR code on the screen to get bonuses worth $35. We're talking a free epic champion Jotun, 100k silver, 50 gems, and 2 epic skill tomes. All of this treasure will be waiting for you here. Thanks to Raid for sponsoring today's video, and now let's get into the adventure. There's a tower here. Perhaps I climb up and get a better view of the island. We have a vast industrial area right here. This kind of reminds me of like a jungle island, dude. It's kind of nice. All right, I'm going to come down there and loot the military then. Let's go. Look at this, dude. Oh, there's a body here. Yeah, but there's nothing on it. P90. No mag, though. Oh. That's close. I see him. He's on the road. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. My gun's not out. Dead. Okay. Good job. <laughs> yeah, loot him up. He has a Winchester. Take this stuff. A Winchester, you say? Oh, with the scope! That's the start we need, buddy. I think there's someone in this red building on me. Coming. I'll push with you if you want to wait. No. <laughs> Let's see what he got for us. Oh, I got some food and a knife. Ooh, backpack. Why can I take this? Freeze! Hey. Drop your backpack. Freeze. Don't shoot even there. What? Are you okay? You hurt? Yeah, he, he cut me once. Oh. That's on the bridge, I think. Yeah, he's on the bridge. I see him. Ooh, will I hit this, though? That's not the one that's shooting, though. Is he not? No, no. Someone's shooting from down below us. Like, from the houses. So here we were after a somewhat smooth start to our adventure. With solid rifles, some armor, and base building tools, Eminix and I quickly made a plan to get off this northern part of the island in search of an area to set up our future home. Whenever I look to build a base, I try to find a spot that's convenient to live at. Ideally, the location should be close to good loot, but also in a spot that's not too highly trafficked, and when checking the map, a few islands out west stood out to us, so we made our way out there to take a look. So when we loot this, we go to prison next. Is the prison, like, good loot? Oh, hell yeah. It is. 
this village wouldn't be too bad to put a starter in because it's basically situated between the prison, which you say is Gablu, and the airstrip, and it's on like yeah. the western part of the map. This wouldn't be a bad spot to settle for sure. Yeah. Oh shoot, body bags here. Emerson, but it's ruined. No. Dang. That would have been nice. And the war belt. Why is it always the good gear is ruined first? Alright, this is the prison. So you said there's barracks in here? Yeah. Oh, dude. It's two prison buildings. That's kind of scary. Yeah. Alright, ready? So due to the 12 gauge, it's going to be holding down here. I already feel it. Oh, close still. Nice. Oh, there's barracks here. I'm going to check these ones over here. Sulfur. Yeah, see? Easy. Yeah, uh, ray tools. That's already, like, very good. Charcoal, too. That's a gunpowder, bro. Wait a minute. We might have to live out here and farm, like, explosives. That's nice, though. Got the little Emerson vest. We got basic rifles. We got Winchesters. We're pretty much set for now. It was time to get started on building a base, but the lack of a cold lock was holding us back. To get one, we had to reach the trader, and that was a dangerous path, but we needed to get a base up by the end of the night, so we made our way in that direction. Oh, that's right here. You wanna push this, or do you wanna just... I want to snipe them. We have to snipe us. It's a better thing for us. Yeah, very true. Yeah, he's on top, level tower. I don't see him. He's swimming, he's swimming. I see him. I'm, I'm gonna push over to him. Yeah, go, 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 go. I'm coming with you. Yeah, he's, he's pushing up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't have a visual right now. Hit him. He's not dead. He's jumped behind the rock. Yeah, yeah. Hit him again. He's dead now. Nice shooting, dude. Be behind, behind you, but this guy. Behind, behind, behind oh, you. that's you? Hit him! Oh my god, you're a demon. Oh, that's a bad fan beep. Yeah, coming, coming. Oh yeah, I see him. Where is he? Uh, down, he's run down. He's dead. Good shooting, bro. That guy looks kinda geared right there. I'm knocked. I think I killed him. Yeah, you killed him. Oh, you know what? I'm not that hurt. Not too bad. Oh, I'm four. I'm gonna grab his Tundra. Get some spare guns now. This is big. That guy had a good gun too? Yeah, M, uh, like an AR-15. Oh, in front of us? Guy? He's Duncan. Yeah, good shooting, bro. Dead. Oh my god, we gotta live on that. Do you think they would let us? Like, is that... You think it's a buildable zone? That looks sick. There's a guy up there. Where? On the right window. He's just standing there. Unless it's an AI. Far right window, a second floor. He's gone. There's a guy there. 100% there's a guy. Yeah, he's, you see him? He's going left. Oh, yeah, there. That is like kitted guy dude wait he's in the water now that's ggs can we cut him off you think on the island on the main island oh, i see him i see him yeah he's going right i see him yeah oh they're going for saves on both of them let's try to catch this yeah. guy in the water dude he's gonna be slow okay <laughs> this is pitch black ggs bro we do need to be to get into this I don't know. Oh yeah, just go in the back room. Okay, code lock has been secured. I still have a decent amount of money. Is there anything else we would need right like off the bat? Uh, storage. Storages are a little pricey. It might be out of our budget here. With a code lock in hand, we adventured back towards the prison island and found a quiet little village to settle in. We chose to build in a yellow fortress house right on the road because it would be easy to secure and there was a ton of room to add airlocks inside of it later on. It's a good spot. Very good spot. That's probably good enough. I think that's good. 
Okay, I'll put this one down too. Okay, I set my base. Our next goal was to get storages for our base. To be able to afford this, we spent an hour farming the prison and airfield until we had enough supplies to sell. Reaching the trader was easy enough and we sold about 100,000 worth of gear each, which was enough to buy us some gun lockers and crates. But leaving the trader is where things began to take a turn for the worst. And this is where I get killed by camper, lose everything I own. Knocked camper, he's camping the extract. Killed him. Nope, that's more than one. No way. There's not a free man here, dude. Yeah, it's all gone. Emnix tried his best to recover the gear, but there were just too many people. The loss was a major setback, but at the very least, we still had a base, and all we could do now was run back and try to gear up all over again. Oh, wait, I see a guy. I dropped him. Oh no, he fell. Oh, he's unconned. Oh. I can heal, it's fine. Oh, I see a guy. It's kind of fresh wearing a bag, red bag, across the airfield. Yeah, I'm behind him. Uh, sleeping bag. It really doesn't have much, actually. Oh, graphics card. Oh, nice. Bitcoin! <laughs> what? Alright, we might have just made that 200k back, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. <gasps> well, maybe. Bitcoin. But... No way! I swear to God, we made back everything we just lost and, and a little bit more. Graphics card! Stop, stop. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Oh, we're not going to Trader. We're not going to Save Zone again. No, hell no, not no. Go in the, the earliest ass crack of dawn when there's three people on, okay? Daisy is a strange game. Within 20 minutes of losing all of our gear, here we were finding not one, but two of the most expensive barter goods on the server. Feeling a bit more hopeful, we made our way back to base and crafted some temporary storages to put our newfound treasure in, and then we logged out for the night. The next morning I log in and Emnix tells me the three words that no Daisy player wants to hear. We got raided. Oftentimes we joke around about this type of stuff to troll each other and play a little prank, so I thought he was just messing around again. There was no way that our luck would be that bad. Let's see how bad it really is. Maybe you went to the wrong house, dude. Yeah, I locked out in the wrong house, of course. <laughs> oh, you locked? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. No, our wall's still there. The back wall's still there. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, they kicked our shit in, bro. You're not lying. Yeah, I told you. Do you think I'm joking? Ah, I was kind of hoping you was pranking or something. What? <laughs> so is this all stuff you got right now? When you respawn, yeah. you come back? Okay, so yeah. we have some stuff, I guess. This is bad, bro. We need a new uh, territory. Okay, let's let's go get a cold lock somehow. I don't know how. We'll have to figure it out. This event was a turning point in our adventure. Going forward, I had one goal and one goal only, to try to find whoever raided us. The area we were in was kind of secluded, and I was convinced that somebody on this island had to have been the one to take us out, but that still left the question, who could it be? To find out, we needed to scout our entire surroundings, but before that, we had to reseal our base, which would require a code lock, so we head out to get some money and buy one. Yeah, it ain't looking too hot, bro. Where's all the barter goods we were finding yesterday? Yeah, or the day before that, or... Or the day before that, yeah. Scout on me. 
crazy. Oncom. Dead. Nice. Here's a shovel. Are there stashes here at this base? There could be. You gotta look around the dirt. Oh, found one. No way. Yeah, come here. All right, I'm coming. So they are hidden here. Or if this has a code lock, I will cry tears of joy. So open it. Oh, syllable. That's not too bad. I found a guy here. I couldn't do anything about it. Oh, there's someone else. He's German. Hey, are you German? Yeah, I'm German. Hey, was geht alles, alles klar bei dir? <laughs> ja klar, man, Alter. <laughs> Geil. Guten Tag. Ja. But you see, this is the comeback story that the people have been waiting for. I will build the greatest base ever seen in DayZ. There's a guy in front of me. Got him. I was trying to get close because I don't know how good this vector is at range, but uh, he's dead. He looks like he has stuff though. Oh. Yeah, he got some stuff on him. I'm 16. A bag in here. Medical bag. Ophthalmoscope, Grizzly. This is actually kind of nice. Yeah, oh my god, SSD, dude, this is big. This will give us enough for a cold lock, easy. With more than enough for a code lock, we stopped by the trader and grabbed one, and then made our way back home to reseal the base. Yeah, anywhere for now would work. Nice. There she is. Yeah, we'll just do another door to play it safe, I think. That should be good. Okay. Two doors. I look at this on the ground. Look at that. Key that opens the employee offices on small oil. Which one is small? Is it left? Oh, that's across the map, dude. But the boat trader is like... We're not going to make that. Yeah, we need a boat. We definitely need a fishing village. Uh, we need to do a fishing village yeah. around here. Boat in the right, just sitting there. It's a spawn, I think. Oh yeah. Oh, like that. Yeah. See? Um. Yeah, you're right. I think it's locked. I'm not seeing the inventory at all. Oh wow, it's literally a fishing village. <laughs> so it's so much like Rust, dude. That's cool. Which one should I buy? Uh, get the carp boat if that's there. Yeah, yeah. I bought it. Should I buy keys too? Uh, yeah. Get buy keys so we can lock it. Carpo's the cheapest, and it's actually not too slow. Like, it's good speed. Oh my god, that thing is actually large. What the heck? Yeah. So what I just realized, small oil's bottom right, but the only way to get there is we have to go through this, like, channel. And then we should be good once we can cross that, but it's risky, because there's a bunch of bridges there. There's, like, four bridges. Wait, there's a base. Where? In front of us, yeah, right there, and the, the rocks left. Where? Am I blind? I don't, I don't see a base. What? Yeah. Oh. Wow. You know what's funny? Yes, uh, this morning I came down this like whole stream, and I didn't see this at all. Wait, this is actually advanced. This guy's smart as hell. Bro, all I'm gonna tell you is any base that's like this is gonna be loaded beyond belief. I hope you get like a 1c4 or something to raid this thing. These are the types of bases that I like I build where it's just you can't even find them half the time. And I always hoard stuff, so this guy's probably loaded. That's a good spot, man. I did not know that was there. I think this is raid target number one that we just found here. Yeah? If you remember from earlier, we got raided overnight, and I felt like it was from one of our neighbors. The problem was that there was only one other active base on the island, and it was located right in this village in a small church. The entire time I had been plotting to raid these guys, but now we discover an invisible coastal base right in our backyard, and it was honestly kind of confusing. 
This base was so well hidden that we would have never found it if we didn't happen to be driving by at the right spot on our boat, and it was really likely that this belonged to whoever raided us. And even if it wasn't, we would still benefit from getting rid of it anyways because it was just so close to us. So we carried on the journey towards the small oil rig with the hopes that this keycard would provide us with some much needed raiding explosives. Oh, we haven't gotten shot at yet, so... Don't say it! Oh man, why did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 we'll be alright, bro. Dude, there's a fucking big ship to the right. You see that? No, I can't see past you. Right. There in front. Oh, you think it's unlocked? It's locked, probably. First, we focus on Smoil. Speaking of Smoil, there it is. Wait, that's really small. What the heck? Oh, okay, this ladder here should take us right up. Take, you don't have a gun out for me. I don't know if that's bugged or... No? Yeah, you're good now. Careful here, this is sketchy as hell. Okay, that's not this. That's V98. So, gear does spawn on these, that's interesting. Oh, sulfur here in the ground. Oh my god, we can actually farm these, dude. Sulfur, we need that. To rate that little one by one. <laughs> Alright, ready? Yeah. Don't make noise. Oh, thank god. No, there it is. Uh-oh. Weapons case. What's in there? SL-25. That thing looks disgusting. Wow. What's in here? Oh, homemade! Homemade. Wait, is that not enough to go raid that dude? GPU. Wait, that's over here. Military crate. Oh, three, three gunpowder. Gun this is this is absurd. What? Oh! Hacked crate, but it's empty. Can you start it? Wait, why can't we do the hacked crate? You should be able to start this. Unless somebody ran this. Yeah. Let's get out of here, dude. Let's go quick. We can raid, I think. Go, go, go. Hurry. That was actually so good. Like, we have the homemade. We have another three gunpowder. And sulfur. Like, we have sulfur. We so that's four homemade. We need one more sulfur, I think. That's it. Yeah. We have two homemades. Oh, God. There's a dude on the right side. On the bridge. Gear? Blackbeard, yeah, he has gear. Oh, he's, he's about to shoot, bro. Oh, please, God, don't aim at us. Please. Yep, he's uh, he's aiming, he's aiming, zigzag. He's trying to get a shot. Oh, yeah. I think we're okay. He hit me. Dude, you lost no health. He's a low caliber. We're good, we're good. Just go. You're okay. Thank God he didn't have, like, a big gun. Uh, just the way the terrain is set, you would know if it went downwards somehow, and it, it doesn't seem to do that. So I think it really is just the one door. So we can just straight up try to hit that. Alrighty. Good run right there. Let's go, man. Pray for good luck here. Hope this guy's loaded. He has to be, man. He has to be. Someone do the key card. Someone do Prison. the key card. Yeah. Do you want to go for it? Mm, I feel like we should. I feel like we should, no? No. Should we raid while he's there? What if he hears us? Uh, Let's counter that. No, no. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Just yeah. depot. Don't worry. We can raid after. Okay, I'm coming to you. Oh, they're running out. I'm fighting a damn zombie. I'm coming. Did they come out? Yep. Which way? How many? How many? And which right. way? Two, two, to the right, to the right. I'm following you. I think I hit one. I'm not sure. I didn't hear you shoot. Behind you, behind you. I'm, I'm one dead behind. Down? One's behind me. He's on me somewhere. I'm uncon. He broke my bones with one shot. It's either a bigger group or I don't know. It has to be a bigger group because I only saw two guys run out. That's it. Yeah, there's definitely more then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the wall there. Down? Yeah, one one, one to the right. Watch out. Okay. Oh. Getting shot at. He's in a shed, maybe? I don't know. 
Oh yeah, he's, he's in front of me. He's pushing me. Hit him. I don't know if I killed him, but he's hit upper body. Keycard, ATC, access to keycard. ATC? For Cameron X strip. Yep. Yep, yep. That's right here, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, 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 nice. And Soul 4, so we have two C4 already. Amnix was able to clutch and secure most of the gear, and afterwards we headed back to the prison to clear out the area. While trying to pick up the last of the loot left on the ground, we heard some activity from deep underground, and it sounded like somebody was in the water shuffling around and trying to jump, so we took a closer look. He's in the water below us. Yeah, he's gotta be in water. You wanna push that? Yeah. You see him? Nope. Maybe he's in the other room. Remember you were stuck in there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's fully geared. You hit him? Nope. Now it's time for your uh, nade. He's fully geared, you said. Very well. Yep. I'll be taking care of that. No, I found the water. Uh oh. If you guys need a can of food, I could throw one over. Oh man, we all good. Double shot him. I'm still alive, buddy. Double shot him again. It's four shots with 308 into him. Should be dead. Yep. He's not the first one he died. His friend died here also. Really? Nah, no, this dude had some stuff. Fast MT, they're kind of geared, bro. Not even gonna lie to you. Dude, we need to get out of here because his friend's gonna come back. Oh. How? I don't know, sprint jump. Now, this is the hard part here. No, apparently not. I'm through. Okay, here we go, man. Please, God, don't have some weird second door. Nope. What the heck? Oh, are we in? Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Oh, wow, crates. This is weird. Eh? Hey. Nothing else here? I don't know, it's it's a little like weird. I feel like he's burying stuff or something. I don't know. You're telling me this dude did not have one gun. He has the storage boxes. Yeah. What's the meaning of this? Is there something I'm missing here? Surely something's not right here. What secrets do you hold? Is there any stashes? That's one guy off the island. Just need to hit the church next. We should be a lot safer at that point. As you can probably tell, this base was a bit of a stinker. For the past day, I had been expecting it to be completely loaded inside, but the only things of value were the two storage boxes that we grabbed. The fact that there were absolutely no guns, ammo, or armor was really unusual, and I felt like the owner of this base had probably buried some stuff in a hidden stash out in the woods, but for now, we didn't find anything. However, the fight at the prison did give us a few keys and some sellables to use later on, and with another day coming to an end, we built a door for some added security, and then we logged out. The next day, we began to get busy. We started off by grabbing all of the airfield keys we had and planned a trip over to unlock all of the marked rooms, with the hopes that we could somehow get a little bit more explosives and maybe even some nails to work on the base. There's a body right there, this is not good. Oh, okay. What's in here? Oh, weapons case? Oh, what? R700, okay. Oh, oh, yeah! Oh my god, the exact same key card. No way. I'm assuming it's upstairs. Yeah, it's gonna be in probably second floor. It should be this room right here. Got a medicine kit. 
Oh, I got a nice armor, bro. Can you pick up this armor here? Do we have everything? Uh-huh. Let's go. Um, That's not our boat, though, right? That's our boat. But it looks to me like somebody got their revenge on us. Could it be this guy at the one by one? I'm guessing somebody just sprayed it. Wow. Oh yeah, there's no option to start it at all. Yeah. What? The good news was that we found another oil rig key at the airfield, but we no longer had a working boat to actually reach it. We had parked the boat overnight right beside the base we raided, and I went over to check and see if the owner had rebuilt it, but it was still wide open. I don't know what it was about this base, but I just loved the location of it, and I felt like it would be a waste for it to just sit here rotting away, so I began to have some visions of potentially building my main base here. Or what I could do is I can keep this basement as like a secret bunker, and I could probably put a ramp here and kind of try to hide this. That could work too. To build the main base here, I would need a lot more nails and supplies, so I just sealed the door off for now so nobody else moved in, and then Emnix and I roamed up north to do some looting. Oh, here it is. This is a good size melee. There it is. Oh, I actually see one. Where? <laughs> He's uncut only. Wait, that DVL sucks ass. He's dead now. He might have had a good armor, maybe that's why. He has a ballistic vest on. Uh, where was he prone? It was just right here in the wide open somewhere, was it not? Oh, guy running away. Yeah, yeah. That, that's him! I hit him. What the hell? Hit him, dead. Oh! He's knocked. This guy has armor. He's right behind this wall here. I'm pushing him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Surrender! Surrender! Hello? <laughs> Sorry. Surrender. He's German, bro. We might have to let him live. He's one of us. You're German, right? Yeah, I'm German. Yeah, hi, <laughs> okay, that was good. Yeah, could you me help? We can, we can, we oh, can. Oh, there's a stash here. Machen. There's a stash, Emnix. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I hope this is stacked. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Code lock, some barter, ghillie suit. Gun the gun the hook. Ihr habt mich erschossen, oder? Oder war das andere? Das sind nicht mal. Where? Uh, I don't know where I'm aiming. He's going up the hill left. He's down. Another one though? Sure. Behind me to the right, yeah, I hear him. Clear as day, I hear him. You okay? I have to heal. In front, in front. I thought he was dead. We need a lot of this. We should go now. Yeah, we yeah. Should go pull now. back, pull back. There's a boat right there. Oh, there's a guy, there's a guy. Yeah. I think he's one of the boat, maybe? Two guys, two guys. They're going to it, yeah. Hit him. He's unconned. Watch out for the other guy. Yeah, yeah, I know. The other guy went left. Don't know where the other guy is. I'm gonna try to kill this guy when he wakes up. He dead. The other guy. Okay, this guy's up. Should be dead. Yeah, pretty sure I finished him. Good shooting, man. I think they were doing a little trader run with their boat. Oh, yeah. Uh, pack of nails. Big bag, too. That's worth. Oh, home sweet home. Yeah, good little run, man. Good little run. Let's get this gear stashed up. With a few more successful runs under our belt, I had some more nails and building supplies to work with, and I got right back out there and began working on the main base. So we want to basically go ahead and place this here, but we want the ramp to be up top. So let's do some snapping. 
Oh, wait, that's kind of bad. Maybe I can tilt it a little bit to make it fit better. Oh, you know what? No, that shouldn't show. All right, let's try this. Let's see. So, yeah, we can walk up it for sure. That's good. And the sides, I can put walls there. Oh. Yeah, basically this is a somewhat hidden loot room. I don't know. I mean, it's you could kind of tell there's something there, but I'll work on it. I'll try to hide it better. And uh, yeah, now I need to decide what to do for the upper part of the base. Well, we kind of have a problem here. I actually can't dismantle this wall. I've been trying for a few minutes now. And I'm thinking it's because it's in a rock, but usually you can dismantle by looking at the top parts of the wall. But I don't know, I'm just having trouble. This rock is definitely playing a big factor. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to expand that way, which is, a bummer, because that was really my only plan. Alright, that's all the progress for now. Let's go back and deposit some stuff downstairs. And hopefully, we can do some roaming now. Try to get some more supplies. And uh, get this base finished up soon. A little bit later on in the day, I joined up with my friends Beowulf and Johan who were on the server. They happened to be in a fight at the prison which was right nearby my base, so I ran over to back them up. There's a guy, guy outside, guy outside, geared, 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 right down the stairs, I need a gun. One of them on this brick wall right here. He's right in this compound somewhere. He's running. There's a guy behind us. One dead. Killed one. You guys okay? Oh, one oh yeah, I'm getting shot at. I think he's down. I think somebody's dead. I think so, right in front of the statue, on the other side of that wall, to the left. I see him, he's shooting at me. Oh yeah, I see him. This scope is hideous, bro. There's two, two, two. Uh, one's knocked. I need help, I need to pull back. Yeah. I'm flanking them. He's head glitching the staircase right here. No, 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 here, here, I'm me, I'm me. Uh. Nice. Is that all of them? This is a big ass group, bro. Oh, sheet metal. That's big. Just killed a guy. That was a little awkward. Oh, box of nails. I'm about to die. He's in this bar. I killed this ass. Oh, is this him? Dead. Uh, no nails on this fellow. This young man right here. Oh yeah, it is. Careful, careful, boys. Down, 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 down. That dude has good gear, it sounds like. A good gun. That guy is, is stacked. Oh, he's loaded in his bag. Alright, just loot. Hold up, I'm pushing him. Cross. 
I see him, I see him. None of us hit him? What? He just tanked three DBL shots. His gun stinks worse than ass, bro. Sorry, I don't know how to call him out, but you can see his body from here. No, I see him. I see him. Uh, I'm going to the guy's body. It was this direction. I just killed the guy. Oh, RPK. Emerson, that's a fatty plate. We're gonna buy a boat, we'll run large oil. I wanna just check it out and see what's over there. I've never been to it. I'm hoping there's like some decent gear on it though, because I went to small oil and most of the good stuff's locked in rooms, but there was good gear spawning on the ground. So I'm kind of hoping that uh, large will have the same thing. All right, there's our boat. I have to go to oil rig. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. If there's no boats here, I think it's safe to assume that nobody's here. Because I don't know if there's helis on this map. So we should be okay if there's no boats in the water. The oil rig was pretty quiet, but we were able to identify the location of the locked key room on here for a future visits once we ended up finding the key card. There were a few barracks filled with military loot, and more importantly, there was a decent amount of nail spawns, and we even found a few charcoal and sulfur packs to use for raiding. This was the ideal location to loot because of how remote and easy to defend it was, and I would definitely come back in the future to take advantage of everything that this location had to offer. Off we go back home. That was a very fruitful run. I got a uh, charcoal, got a box of nails, Beowulf got like three charcoals and a sulfur and a box of nails. So this is definitely worth checking. We got to come here and it's pretty safe. I don't think many people will really come out here. This is such a vibe. Holy, look at that. Yo, let me get them nails real quick. I'm going to depot them at this base because I'm going to build tonight. The core of the base was finally finished. Now, remember that the main loot room was still located right under, but I was going to be putting a lot of the loot up here so that in the future, if it ever did get raided, people wouldn't be suspicious finding a totally empty base. The underground vault would mostly be used for the really high tier stuff like explosives, cash, and barter goods. Anyways, with the base almost done, Emnix logged on and we took a minute to go upgrade our boat to a much better military one. And then we quickly went towards the small oil rig to use our last key and try to find some explosives so we could raid the final church base on our island. I uh, got an AR-15 right here. Oh, sniper, sniper, go, go, go. I can't, it's two doors here, what the hell? Uh, suppressor, bipod, SSD, gold watch. You got anything? You got any explosives or anything? Nope. Remington, nothing in here? Nope. We can hack this crate, bro. It's 15 minutes, we have to hold this, though. I'm gonna do another quick check, make sure nobody's trying nothing. Ooh. Yeah, so much hard shot at me. <laughs> I'm gonna go back inside, bro. <laughs> Dude, I feel like it's gonna be so hard getting in the damn boat. Like, I wish we had a smoke grenade or something to drop on it. Come on, baby. Give me something good. Nah. Ain't no way. What? Well, are you joking with me? It's, uh, SR25 Timberwolf. I would've stayed home if I knew it was gonna be this. Watch out, no, that someone is downstairs. Oh yeah, he's shooting. You think someone's down here? Maybe. No, I don't see one. Problem is we gotta get in the fucking boat. Come in. I missed. He's shooting at me. I can't get the fucking prompt. I'm in. We're getting shot at from both sides, bro. Can you get I in? I can't get in. No, no, I can't jump in. Behind. I'm getting shot. I'm knocked. 
That's not bulletproof at all. I'm laying down. Yeah, we're f***ed here. I'm not going to be able to get in. I got to go heal somewhere now. I must care. Do we have cover for laid down? Yeah, yeah, if you lay down, yeah. But you can't heal. This is bad. I'm blinking health. You can't heal prone? No, no, you can't. Can you sit in, go, can you sit in the chair quick? Why? I can drive. If they hit me... Should we try? I don't know how try, to get yeah. in the chair though. I'm gonna get murdered. You have, you have to look down. You have to stand up, at least crouch, and then look down on the chest. Chair. Should I go for it? Yeah, let's go. Look. Go, 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 go. I'm in, I'm in. Go, go, go. I'm not in. I'm gonna die. Go, 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 go. <sighs> oh! I can't! Go, Mix, We're go! Stuck. We're stuck! Oh, go, 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 go! Please, God, please! We're stuck? Go, go, you're good, you're good, go, go, go! Zigzag, zigzag! I'm fing I'm almost dead, bro! <laughs> oh, zigzag, I'm <laughs> Alright, I should be full HP here, more or less. Yep. Still have one more use. Let's uh, get back at it, I suppose. That uh, that was a close call. I gotta say, the boss a shit run. No, that was awful. I mean, it's good that we survived, but like, holy, that loot was by far some of the worst shit I've ever seen. Yeah, it was not looking good, bro. I forgot. I need to put another wall in here so they don't inside to the loot room. Now the question is, can we get out from here? Oh yeah. I like that a lot. So I'm gonna try my best to bring it up around the rocks and then maybe have some around back, but we're gonna need a metric fuck ton of logs. So here's the question at hand. How do we get up here every time? Like, say I want to get up to our roof. Uh, you're just gonna build a half wall, like a half wall here. So I want to get down here to the water where we could actually like drink and stuff from it. Ah, uh, it's a shame that our old boat is destroyed. I'm sure there's some way to fix it. I just don't really know what we would need to use for it. But either way, we have a new boat, this big one. And that one should hopefully be a lot more bulletproof. And then we have the small one here. The base is also complete. We have a little compound going around. And the reason I built this was I was always worried that whenever I enter the little hidden bunker, somebody over here might be just sniping or walking by and see me do it. But now this is a compound. And yeah, it's pretty secure. No one should be able to see what we're doing inside. I'll even show you the back of it. So there's like a little stream that goes down to the ocean and it goes through our base basically. I built my base right on top of it. We still have access to that water inside as I'll show you once we get in there. But overall, it's pretty hard to enter right now. So you come on in here, open her up, and here we go with the ramp. On this side, we just have a little area. I don't know what I'm going to put here yet. Just some area to put storage maybe or something. And you can kind of tell that there's something down here. But I feel like 90% of people will not notice, like, to tell you guys the truth. Okay, so you gotta just prone like this to enter it. This still needs some more metal. I didn't put the last sheet metal on there. But once we get this door sheet metal, it'll be way more secure. And in here we have our gun rack, which has some of our best guns. We have SRSs, Remingtons, Timberwolves, all that good stuff. And then we're just bringing over all of our best stuff in here. So we have like a good amount of cash now. There's 500k right there. And then this is empty. But yeah, we're going to slowly bring stuff over from the main base over here. That's kind of like our next plan. You come in here, there's not really much here. Except for I'm next to sitting there. <laughs> and up here, we just have some like storage for axes and all that type of stuff. Our workbench. And the idea is for here to be where we put the, like a lot of the loot. Like I said, we didn't bring everything over yet. So we're going to move all the storage boxes from the old base over to the, uh, to this rock here. 
And then in here, I just put a little locker for now. So I'm just gonna put a loadout in here and I'm already moving all like all the ammo and all that stuff over here as well. As I had said way earlier on in the video, my only goal was to find out who raided us and potentially get back at them, but I was nowhere closer to actually discovering this information. The only guess I had for now was that it was probably the only other base on our island which was located in this church. From our estimate, this base would probably have at least three gates and we only had two C4, so we needed to find a few more charcoal and sulfurs to make some gunpowder and craft the final one. And to do that, we were gonna have to head to a few more military bases around the map, so we began our search by heading down south and working our way back up north. Why is there a deer in the sky? Do you see that? What? Look up in the sky to the right. Oh my goodness. You see that? Okay, good. It's uh, what's his name? Rudolph. 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 Oh wait, just cut down trees here. Uh oh. Looks like we got somebody building. Two guys, two guys. I see one. Left one is dead. The other one was in the blue shed. The blue shed, I know, I know. Yeah. He's in there. Dead. Nice. Did you check that guy or no? No, I didn't, but I killed him for sure. This guy had a gun, like he hit me good. Yeah, they're in there. I don't know, it's super leggy, dude. You think they have more than one door? Don't know. You wanna online them? Yeah, we can. Uh, I don't know though, I don't know how many doors there are. Shoot. But if we waste this, if we lose this, then we're not gonna be able to uh, hit church at all. But how do we know that even the church guys are still online and doing stuff? Well, we don't know that either, that's the thing. But the church has been there far longer. And we haven't really seen them active. Yeah. I don't know, bro. Total in you. Yeah, yeah. One dead. Hey, it's King Arthur's sword. See this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me pull it out. Hold up. I do say the strongest man, the chosen one, pulls it out. But this must be a bug because I can't pull it out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Let's go. That's funny. That's cool. I like that a little. This little touch. Somebody's aggroed. To your left. To your left. I'm next behind you. That's not what's aggroed on. No. It's gotta be somebody. You gotta push in? On top, on top, HQ, HQ top. The rooftop. Oh, I see him. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, of course. Holy sh. Wait, this is kind of stacked, bro. Uh, Not much on this. You got anything? Oh, gun bag. Take it. Oh, I don't know. Got it. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Get out of here. We ended up finding the last gunpowder we needed from an airfield stash, and now we finally had enough to make a third C4. It would take us quite a while to craft all of the explosives, and it was late, so we logged out for the night. And the next morning, we got online to raid the final base on our island and secure it once and for all. Got gunpowder. Uh, we got radio. Uh-huh. Craft. Nice. Three homemades. Damn. All right, let's go quickly, bro. Let's get this done. Uh, the door's gone too. No Hang shot. On Come on, game, please. This is the last base on this island, man. Don't tell me it got raided. No, I think it's despawned. Wow. What is the odds, man? What is the odd? This was here last night. It decayed, right? Yeah. Is there anything left? Storages, maybe? Nope. What? Doesn't this mean they had nothing, though? Wouldn't the storages still be here? I feel like they would. I do not know. I think storages uh, persist, dude, because I found another base that was decayed and it had all the storages there. So maybe this was just, like, abandoned for days. Uh, you wanna go to the other island and uh, raid those people who live there? Did before yesterday? I mean, yeah, we might as well, dude. 
Hopefully those dudes are on. This was just inactive, man. I think that's what it was. We're just going for it? Yep. Alright, man. There goes nothing. Hopefully these guys are stacked. Yeah, somebody definitely heard that one. <laughs> uh, hello? Oh my god, these dudes. They, uh... No way. Yeah, let's just say it's gonna be more than what we think. That's crazy. Should I keep going? Guess we might as well. Yeah. We kind of have to at this point. I, I mean... But they definitely have more than three doors, bro, based on that. Watch, it's gonna be gate stacked. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no lock, no lock. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, we caught them before they finished. Okay, there's one here. Lock here. Oh, my God. Look at their planks, dude. Okay, I'm going to start uh, yeah, yeah. getting in. This is loot room. This should be final door, I hope. Let's go. Give us something good, please. Okay. Oh. Let's, I have to unlock this one. Oh my god, this is stacked. Wow. Yep. Wow, wow, wow. Wowzy. VSD. Remington, Arsaces. Dude, this is big. I'm gonna start loading up on these guns at least. I feel like they're online. This bag is on the ground, bro. Outside. Yeah, shh. Sh this might be them. It's them. Um... They're on. Yeah, yeah, wait. At least two. One dead. Hold, hold, I'm reloading. I'm super low. Heal so we can push him. Yeah, yeah. Let me know when you're ready. One more. Shoot again. Got him. Oh, oh watch out, watch out. Oh. Dead. Yeah, these dudes are kidded, bro. They're sleeping back here too, in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got the base secured. Now we can take a little more time, loot up. This base had a decent amount of nails, cash, and really good guns. But the most important thing I got out of it was the many storages, which I desperately needed for my main vault base. On top of all of that, this would now become our third base, and it was the perfect strategic little outpost we could use on the next island over. Now for the question that a lot of you are probably asking. Could we confirm if this was the group that raided us? I'm gonna be completely honest with you, we didn't really get too much information out of this, but it most likely was not this group. I don't know, bro, what are you supposed to do? What if these are the guys that raided us? Think about that for a sec. R riddle me that. I don't think so, like honestly. How do you know, like, how do you know? Okay, every time we went through this city, or me at least, I never saw that besides one day yesterday that when we catch them. Do you think if they played longer when we got raided, they have only three code locks and not even finished? No, you're right. That doesn't make sense, does it? We have one? Yeah, yeah. One's that one then. Well, we have a third base now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if there's any other bases on this island either. This one, it can't be. Yeah, I think generally, like, we might be the only base left on these two islands. That's something nice. It's true that at the end of the day, we didn't find who raided us, but I kind of realized that it doesn't really matter in the end. Getting raided ended up being better for us in the long run because it pushed us to work harder and build our base back up, and although it was pointless, our goal of trying to get revenge resulted in us getting a ton of loot, and we were now better off having three decent bases in a secret vault on these islands. Yep, this is solid construction if I say so. Very good. Without having to worry about gear or resources anymore, we just spent the rest of our time on this server sailing around fighting other players on the oil rigs and on the mainland. 
and eventually we logged out for the final time, leaving our bases full of gear for other players to eventually take. I knew that over time these bases would be raided, but I strongly felt that nobody would ever find the hidden bunker. If you guys made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support, and I'll catch you in the next adventure.